Shipping Gang! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am not going to do a cash stuffing video, but I am going to set up my binders for the new year. So it's almost 2023 and the new year is coming. I need to spice up my binders and change some of the categories because for the new year, I have new priorities, new plans, so I will promise myself and try to upload consistent videos for my cash stuffing. So for my next cash stuffing videos, I will try my best to speak in English because I have international subscribers and I want them to understand what I'm saying, so I will try my best to speak a general language that everyone can understand. So by the way, please excuse my voice because I recently got sick. My voice is kind of hoarse and my throat still hurts, so please bear with me. My goal is not to overspend and not to buy a lot of things that I don't need. So I retained my previous binders. If some of you can remember, this was my personal binder. So this will become my sinking funds binder for the next year. And then my previous sinking funds binder, which is... So as I said earlier, this was my previous sinking funds binder, but I changed it to my savings challenges binder. So I will show you guys my new product that I will release on January. I am a college student and I did my college business plan where I innovated budget binders and used traditional fabric covers. This is one of the examples of my product from Body Budget. So I use traditional weaves which are made by the local weavers here in my province. This color is already phased out and the available colors left are just the orange ones and the black ones. So if you're interested to buy, just check out my shop. Link is in the description below. So yeah. I am going to use this mini binder as my cash envelope or my wallet. So I will always bring this with me when I go out. So let me start with my cash envelope binder. So here you can see this is the logo of my business plan. It's called Body Budget. My name is also here at the bottom by Alexis Perry. In this cash envelope binder, I have six envelopes. And I already pasted the labels here. It includes my food expense, transportation fare, shopping, self-care, and I included groceries because sometimes I need to buy my own stuff. And then the last one is for my bank or my bank cards or my IDs. Since this binder doesn't have any pockets, I need another pocket to put my cards so yeah it's basically like a wallet but it has many um, envelopes so I will put them here now yay so I will stuff this one on my first cash stuffing video for 2023 so stay tuned guys for the past five months i want to thank everyone who ordered my uh, mini budget binders the traditional ones with these fabric covers because i got a high grade in my exit business plan so yeah i am so proud and thankful that i surpassed the first semester so i only have the second semester left and I am going to graduate college. I think it will be in May or June. So yeah, I'm so excited, guys. So that's my cash envelope wallet. Now for my sinking funds binder. Um, I included 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have 7 envelopes here. And I also made 7 labels right here so i'll just put the video on time lapse for a sec so 
there you have it guys here I have gifts and holidays so I will put money here if I need to buy Christmas gifts or there are certain holidays that I need to buy something for myself or for my family next is my birthday ziploc so since my birthday is in January I think I won't save enough money for my birthday because I'm restarting my cash stuffing journey so I'll just put an initial amount and I will unstuff this one at the end of the year next is an envelope for Sagrada Cafe since I am graduating next year I am also planning to launch a cafe with my boyfriend and my family so that will be my next big dream next year so this one is a priority we already started um, building the shop last November so the goal is to open the shop next year so yeah I'll save up more money for our cafe because that is a huge priority and that is one of my dream after I graduate Next Ziploc is for Buddy Budget. So Buddy Budget is the budget binders that I sell. I will put some of my capital here, my income. I will also include here my cosmetics income from Lextetic. So yeah. Next Ziploc is for Happy Mail. Basically, it's for my online shopping payments. So I will put it here. So next Ziploc is for emergency. So as what... So I will only get money from this Ziploc in case of emergency, so yeah. Next is my boyfriend Ziploc, so I will also track how much money he has in his bank account because I also guide him in saving up because we are business partners, so he also needs to save money in order to um, help me with the capital for the cafe, so yeah. Last Ziploc is my savings Ziploc. It's basically an envelope for my own money. So that's all the envelopes that I got for my Seeking Funds Finder. I'll put them here. So that's it guys. This is my Seeking Funds Finder. By the way, I am going to restock leather binders by january also so stay tuned guys for my last binder this is my savings challenges binder speaking of savings challenges i made cards which consists of a lot of savings challenges that i printed out and i will also sell this one in january so i am going to show you an example this one was my initial print it's um a bit bigger so i downsized the cards so this is the final product i'm going to offer the savings challenges cards in my shopee store and tiktok shop so if you buy this set this is the complete set it includes 10 cards and it will be 59 pesos only so it includes one card for um, the 2023 peso savings challenge so here you will save the amount stated per month and you will get 2023 pesos for the next year for example in january i need to stuff 100 pesos so i will check that box and for the next month i'm going to stop 220 and so on and so forth until december so the total of all this numbers is 2023 so that's the year for the new year i also made a 20 peso savings challenge if you complete this card you will save a total of 600 pesos next is the 50 peso savings challenge if you complete this card you will save 1500 pesos next is 100 peso savings challenge and you will save 3000 pesos if you complete this card I also included a coin savings challenge. I put little wallets here where you can write how much coins you save for the week or for the month. So it's up to you. Next is the 100 envelopes challenge. If you complete this challenge with 100 envelopes, you will get 5,050 pesos. So next is the roll the dice challenge. 
So the concept here is that you will roll a dice and you will save the amount of dots shown in that dice and each dot is equal to 10 pesos. For example, I rolled the dice and it showed three dots. So I am going to save 30 pesos. If you complete all this, you will get 500 pesos. I placed a small tip here that you can use an app in your phone to roll the dice if you don't have the physical dice. The last ones are three pieces of buy it savings challenge. So the concept of this one is that you will save for something you want by writing your desired amount on each ticket until you reach the quota. So I also place here I am saving up for for example an iPhone. You want to buy an iPhone so you will write it here and you will write um, random amounts until you get the total amount of that iPhone. So with that, you can buy a brand new iPhone. I think some of you want to buy or save up for something else. So you have three pieces for that. So yeah, this was the complete set. You will get 10 cards for 59 pesos only. And I also have um, the individual savings challenges. This is the roll the dice challenge with six cards and you can get this one for 49 pesos only. So you already have six cards. So if you want to replenish your cards, for example, if you buy the complete set and you have finished the roll the dice challenge from this set, instead of buying another complete set, you can just buy the individual ones in my shop. So all cards that were mentioned here in the complete set is also available in individuals. Except for this one because it's just a yearly card. I am not going to sell this individually. So this is just a limited card for the complete set. So yeah, stay tuned for this guys. I'll release this in January along with my restock for my budget binders. So here are the cards that I made. It's bigger than the official ones. And I didn't like this one because every time I every time I put the cards, I need to bend them. So yeah, like this one. But it's fine. I don't want to throw them away. So I'll just use it for my personal use. So yeah, that is the save 2023 pesos. For my 20 peso savings challenge, my goal here is to save the 20 peso coins. So I will not include this card in my Ziplocs because I have a coin bank for this one. Next is the 50 peso savings challenge. So by the way guys, these cards are not waterproof so it can get wet. Uh, since it's just cheap and I designed them myself, I offered them at a very affordable price. So you can buy them in my shop. When I launch them in January, so... For my coins challenge, I am also not going to include this in the Ziploc. So, we have a coin bank for that. Next is my roll the dice challenge. Since I also don't have a dice here, I will use an application in my cell phone to roll the dice so that I can save up for this one. Next is my 100 envelopes challenge. So I am not going to include this in my Ziploc because I already have um, 100 envelopes here. So these are recycled ones. I found this one in our cabinet. So I'll just put this one here and we will stuff this one in my next video. So last one is my buy it savings challenge. 
I'm thinking of buying a tablet because I really want to have a tablet. So I'm going to write tablet here. But I still don't know yet the price and the brand that I want. So I'll just leave this here. And I also printed extra ones in case I want to save up for something else. So yeah. I'm so sorry guys. My voice is really ugly right now. And I'm having a hard time speaking. I cough a lot these days because the cold weather really affected my body so I think I am not fit to live in a cold environment it has been very cold here in our country even if we are a tropical country so every December it's really cold here in the Philippines by the way guys I'll show you my coin bank so this is my coin bank I already showed you this one in my previous videos and I have tried putting a 20 peso coin in here. I have a 20 peso coin here. So this is the new 20 peso coin. It doesn't fit even here because it's too fat. So every time I put coins in this coin bank, I'll just open this door and put it inside. So what's the use of this one? It's just for the small coins. This one is too big but yeah so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned for my first cash stuffing video for the year 2023 merry christmas happy holidays and happy new year guys stay safe and stay healthy and i will see you in my next video bye